having prepped it and now it's ready for paint. Just one last little look around and go see. A couple little things that still need to be taped off. But we're just about ready here. Finishing up the last touches here with Joe at the repair shop dot org. <laughs> Lots of changes have been made to the trailer since I originally picked it up. Hey doggy. And uh, pretty much the whole outside has been repainted professionally with automotive paint. New running lights, new stickers. Here's a fabricated sticker that was originally on it, and then I redid it on my computer and printed it out. And then this one as well. Looks real close to the original one. Got a new tail light online. Hard to find. Signed up for uh, Tin Can Tourists. But all the windows have all been recocked. Everything's sanded down except the hubcaps. I'm going to have those done later on. I had to sand the rims down. Repaint those in the step. The hitch. It's all been rewired. That's a new tank. It's a new outlet that I stuck on there. It has all the original hookups for water. It has a new vent on the roof. Had a curtain made for the front door, and so the step has all been resanded down the floor. It's new subfloor, new tiles put in. These cushions I made. We slept four men in here one night when we were traveling. The table goes down into the the big bed. All these lights still work, and and sleep up here in the bunk. The bunk, of course, folds up. Like this, when you want it out of the way. Painted the hood. It was in really bad condition. Put in some new spice racks. They were like $1.99 each. Very affordable. And then I painted the fridge, repainted the fridge. It's metal, so I hope to put some magnets on there. And the trim, obviously, I repainted. Just an ice box, actually. It's not an actual refrigerator, but it's an ice box. Put a new little drain in there. That was easy. And the gas, the LP lights work. Fabricated this floor plan. Made it look old, I guess you could say antiqued. Added a little color, and then got it wet, and then heated it over the stove. And hope to put a porta potty in the closet here. The wood's all still pretty good. I had painted over some of the wood in places where there was some water damage. It was no real deep damage, but I painted over that wood just to have it look a little bit nicer. The whole back wall is new and uh, reframed and then that 
plywood on top of it. So that's what we've got. 1971 Cardinal 10 foot trailer. Doggy, you're still waiting for me. I believe the box is 9 feet 9 inches. I measured it last night and then this hitch right here is just adds just a little bit more length to it. Maybe 2 or 3 feet more. So that's the trailer. Tows really well. It's still pretty light even though it you might put some water in it or or travel with different types of um, you know gear in there but it still still travels pretty light